We're obviously here preparing for, for the new season. Last season was successful. Uh, how do you build on what you did last season? What, what are the next steps for this team, do you think? I think it, it brings us uh, momentum, energy as well to look back what we did um, last year. Um, and like I said, uh, it has to bring us energy to to build even more, to to raising raise the bar a little a little bit a little bit higher. Um, and I think we have we have all the conditions to 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 give a little a little bit more and uh, a plus, so we can we can we can even get better from from what we did last year. Lots of the fans would say that last season was a success. Eric Ten Hag told us at the end of last season that he didn't think it was. It was just progress. Would you agree with that that it wasn't a success? That success for this club is something bigger than that. Yeah, it doesn't fully reply on 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 the entire success that 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 this football club uh, works for and and deserves. Uh, we just we just see it uh, like 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 our manager said. We we see it as a progress, a uh, little step forward. Uh, obviously playing playing two finals, winning a trophy, um, being up there competing for for the Premier League. That's what we want. What we want to aim, uh, and and obviously uh, we know that it's, it's difficult. Uh, we have a lot of teams to compete for, but we we are Man United, so we have to we have to look that as a not as a motivation, but as a responsibility to 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 fulfill the the, the objectives of this club. You've been here for, for five years now. When you look back at those five years, coming here as so young um, for a lot of money, having played very few games for, for Porto, how do you look back at those those five years, what you've been through at this club? Exactly the, the word that I've just said. Uh, I look back to my years here as a progressive uh, career. Um, obviously, I've learned a lot since since I come here, since I came here from, from day one. Um, I felt that I belong to this club uh, and that's why uh, I wanted to to stay here for for even more time. So uh, this also brings me motivation to keep fighting for this club, uh, for fighting for the fans, uh, which I love. And and like I said, the, my aim is always to get better every day, um, every year, giving a little step um, forward uh, and to help the club winning. The new contract that you got show how much they value you as well. The, in the press release that we got, they said some very nice things about you. That must give you a lot of pleasure. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a, a combination of of me at the club, uh, the connection that we have, uh, the the project that the club um, believe that I can be a part of it. Uh, obviously, the 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 manager, the important role that he had since since he came here uh, to help me. To develop even more, so uh, I think this is the perfect, like I said, perfect combination for me, and I didn't have any doubts on 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 keeping um, keep keeping here at this club and fighting for for even more. In terms of your ambition to win big trophies here, do you think this squad is the best that you've been a part of since you came to this club? The the, the most equipped to go and challenge for the, the Premier League title and maybe even competitions like the Champions League. You cannot you cannot compare. I think I think you only you only um, can get uh, opinions after the results. Uh, so so we have to get results first, and then we are, we're gonna have probably um, a base to answer to that question. We cannot we cannot we cannot predict the future. We just can uh, try to to work every day for the future can be bright for us. Uh, and I think we're doing even this preseason. I feel the energy. I feel the 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 motivation with, with with the players, the new signings that we we're bringing in. So uh, I think we are getting at this positive energy to start the season with with uh, with the right way, and, and and hopefully we will be in the end uh, celebrating with the fans. And those new signings you mentioned before, Mason Mount and, and Andre and Anna are here. What what are your first impressions of them? Their introduction into the dressing room, and what can they what can they bring to the team? Do you think? Apart from being fantastic football players, I think one of the one of the most important parts is is the human side. I think they are two humble uh, players who like to work hard and then like to help uh, the others. And I think they they've adapted so quick in just so so less time. And and, and obviously uh, Mason knew a few of the of the lads from England as well. Uh, Andre from from previous uh, colleagues as well. So I think they they adapt really quick uh, and. 
Um, apart of that, of obviously the the quality that they have as a players, I, th- I don't think any anybody has doubts, and they will they will help us a lot this season. And just one last one from me. You, you've obviously got a new captain as well, a guy that you must know very very well in, in Bruno Fernandes. What kind of captain is he? Is is he a guy that? wants to encourage you is he will he shout at you if he doesn't think that you're doing the right things what what kind of a, a captain is he I think I think he's he's not going to be honest I, knowing him as I know him he's not going to change uh, the behavior that he had uh, from from since he came here to be honest uh, when he arrived he always tried to 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 get this uh, natural leadership that he has inside of him um, it's always a player that you can rely on uh, Obviously, being there every single game brings you even more confidence to to have uh, to have a teammate like him who gives you everything for 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 the team. Um, and then, obviously, the the personality that that uh, that has that capacity to to be a leader. And and we are happy that he's one of the leaders of this team. When when it comes to signing a, a new contract, especially for the time span that you've signed for and the period of your career that that will involve. What kind of conversations do you have to have with the manager? What kind of belief do you have to have over the direction of the team? Because you're committing the main part of your career to this football club. Yeah, I think you said you said everything. You have to to have this combination of of, of feelings from the club and from myself as well. First of all, you have to you have to believe. You have to have confidence in in your qualities, which I am. When, which I have, and then um, having that that important part, which which for me is one of the most important parts, is having that positive energy and feedback from the manager that he also believes in in your work. Uh, he also believes that you can be a part of of, of the club for for the upcoming years. Uh, and when you have that, I think for me it's it was straight away uh, um, the answer to to. To, to sign the contract and to, to keep going um, at this club and uh, I think that the, the combination also between between the club manager and the player I think when you have that all combined uh, going to one way I think it's uh, the, the the only way for me we live in an era where full backs a lot is demanded of full backs but a lot is demanded of goalkeepers as well and Andres come in and people kind of think that that might change the way that Manchester United play and that might give the fullback another role. We obviously know that Manchester City and other clubs are playing inverted fullbacks now, as Timber did, for instance, on Saturday. Is that something that that you could adapt to? How is difficult is that being a fullback now and, and the many responsibilities you might have? I think it's just an, uh, an adaptation that we we have we have we need to have naturally obviously if the manager asks you to do and he thinks is the best for the team we just have to find a way to do it uh, i feel comfortable playing playing in the middle when when i have to go there um, so it's just it's just uh, like i said an, an, an adaptation uh, obviously we want to build our style of play we want to dominate we dominate games surprise uh, surprise the opponents um, having that control with and without the ball, and and for that we need we need intelligent players. We need players that are committed to to what the manager uh, asks you to do, um, and personality. I think I think that that's the combination where, when you when you want to play uh, and you have we want you want to have control with the ball, uh, and especially for fullbacks now that we are going to the midfield, we have to we have to be a little bit more use, used to, to, to be in those positions. I mean, that's something about Manchester United under Sir Alex Ferguson. They used to dominate games and almost since he's left, they, Manchester United seem to be a counter-attacking team. It does feel as though Ten Hag wants you to control games and that seems to be the way that teams win matches now. Is that, is that the way that you feel in the dressing room as well? Yeah, I don't think I don't think you 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 necessarily need to have the the most possession of the ball to control games. Uh, we can control the games without having the ball. Um, at least, as long as we are compact, as long as we as long we are together, um, and and we don't concede too many chances and too many spaces, especially in in the midfield. Uh, we we just we just want to build this compactness in the team first. And then uh, be the best, the best teams in transition, whether it's attacking or defending. I think 
um, obviously the controlling in the possession will be probably the the most easy way to say that is it's how you control games but we want to be dominant of also without the ball and and um, that's that's we what what we are aiming for this is your second preseason under Eric Ten Hag. I'm just wondering now how hard the last one was. Does that make this one easier or a harder thing to get your head around? Because he demands a lot of his players, doesn't he? I think it's 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 the same or, or even more with the kick because, like I said, we want to raise the level. Uh, we want to to step to step forward, and and he demands us for us. But we as a players, we between us between teammates, we we also want to. To, to increase the level, so we we have to keep this, especially in pre-season, it's a, it's a good time for us to, to do that because we're all together every day, um, pretty much uh, we have a lot of time to, to talk and then and, and to, to, to see how can we improve and how can we uh, raise the bar as a, as a team and um, it starts in training so this is the first the first thing that we when we wake up we have to we have to realize that it starts in training and then obviously with the with the demands of the manager he, he, it, it won't get easier uh, with with the days passing by but, but but we don't want that as well we want to we want it to to be hard and, and difficult to because that that's that's how we we progress you you'll be aware at this club there's always speculation about signings and things like that but I think it's been quite quiet this summer at right back. It seems that you and Aaron have answered any questions that people may have had about you, and you've got a real good competition that drives each other forward. Yeah, I think it's normal when you're when you're playing for a club like this. It's always rumours. Um, I think the fans get all also get a lot of excitement when when the market opens and and um, they just want uh, the best for the team. So. We are a little bit used to that when you play for Man United, that uh, all the players are being linked to to the club. So uh, for us, for me, I just keep it keep it uh, in my mind that that I'm here. I'm 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 fighting for to play a lot of games like I played last season. So uh, I'm not I'm not bothered at all for what what the rumors are. But just when when the signings come, we we just receive them well and, and look forward. But in terms of a rivalry, I guess as right backs I guess it brings out the best of both of you having that competition yeah obviously I mean if if, if you want to play for this club you have to be able to to compete and not just as a team but as individual as well every position we have at least now two players that can play uh, and they can start a game for for this club so this is this is something that I've always said and I've always kept on my mind that that I like it I like to have this type of competition um, and I think I have I have I have a good teammate to to do that, which which makes me even more uh, motivated to 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 raise the level and and, and fight for for the position. I, I know he's left, and it's not supposed to be a controversial question at all. But he he will go down as one of the greatest players in Manchester United's history, and we're an international teammate of him. I'm just wondering what you can learn from a player like Cristiano Ronaldo about his mentality as much as anything else when he goes on the field. I mean, he helped me a lot uh, outside of of the pitch. Um, whether it's uh, the way you he conducts himself every single day, I think the discipline that he that he has um, and he had through all this career, uh, it brought me a lot. And it was a joy for me to 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 play with him and to be his teammate. Um, he helped me a lot. I will keep some things to myself, but the the general is is that. Uh, his discipline is what 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 impressed me the most um, because you can be you can be consistent, but but you can be consistent in a bad way, and and he was disciplined and consistent in a good way, and, and that's what I've learned the most from him. And you, now you and uh, Bruno can be the Portuguese lads' driving standards at United. Yes, that's what I try. I mean, um, I always like to be professional, uh, help my teammates when, when they need me. So I always I always keep that standards and I think it's it's one of the the best standards that the club can have. So I try to fulfill that that that, that high standards that the club has.